This truly unique painting by Ilya Repin shows the story of the merchant Satko in the underwater kingdom. The painting is based on a Russian epic poem known as a Bilina. It's the story of Satko, a merchant, adventurer and a musician from Novgorod, an area in between St. Petersburg and Moscow. And while I tell this story, keep in mind that Satko's adventure was originally an oral epic poem and only centuries later it was written down by several people. So there are various versions of this story and some of the details in the version that I will tell may differ from the version that you may be familiar with. Satko liked to play the gusli, a Slavic string instrument. Then one day the Tsar of the sea heard his music and really enjoyed it. The powerful Tsar decided to offer Satko some help to make him rich. He advised Satko to make a bet with some local merchants that he could catch a goldfin fish in the sea. The Tsar of the Sea would provide him with his special fish, making Satko win the bet and become a rich merchant. And so it happened. Satko became very wealthy and traveled the seas. But part of the agreement between Satko and the Tsar of the Sea was that Satko would pay proper respect to him, something that he forgot when time moved on. The Tsar decided to intervene and stopped Satko's ships in the sea. Satko and his crew tried to appease the Tsar with gold, but this did not work. Instead, they realized that they had to sacrifice one of their men. They drew lots, and by fate, Satko got the lot that made him the human sacrifice. He had to jump in the sea, where he entered the underwater kingdom of the Tsar. There he played his ghastly again. The Tsar danced enthusiastically on this music, causing the sea to roughen, which made life difficult for the sailors. The sailors prayed to the patron of the mariners, who decided to mediate and asked Satko to stop playing his ghastly. And if the underwater Tsar would not allow that, he should threaten to break his strings. The Tsar, however, had other plans. He had an idea to present Satko with several hundreds of maidens, and according to some versions of the story, the maidens were all daughters of the underwater king. Satko had to choose one of them to marry, and it is this moment that we see in this painting. On the right, surrounded by sea life, is Satko. He is supposed to choose one of the maidens that is presented to him. We can see a long line of maidens representing women from different cultures. But Satko is not looking at them. Instead, he looks up to the woman on the top left. That is most likely his wife back home, though some say that it is the maiden that he will ultimately choose. The idea of the Tsar was that if Satko picked one of the women and consummated the marriage, he would not be able to escape the underwater kingdom anymore and would have to stay there forever. But Satko had received some advice from the patron of the mariners who told him to pick the last woman in the long line and not to consummate his marriage with her. That was his only chance to escape the underwater kingdom and return home to his wife. And Satko followed his advice. He married the last maiden in line, a Russian girl called Chernava. He abstained during the wedding night and the next day he woke up in his hometown. The beauty of this painting is not that it just illustrates a wonderful medieval folktale, but the way that Rapin has captured it. He managed to combine a main composition with a great amount of detail. Just look at the sea life surrounding Satko and the maidens. Often when artists incorporated such an amount of detail, it is hard for viewers to focus on the main element of the story. But Rapin has found this balance. On the one hand, we can see the presence of Satko, the maidens and his real wife. But when we look closer, we can see the coral, sea stars, squid, jellyfish, seahorses and all sorts of other sea life. If you would have the chance to see this painting in real life, I would highly recommend you to do so. The painting is large, over 3 meters or 10 feet high and over 2 meters or 7.5 feet wide. The painting is part of the collection of the State Russian Museum in St. Petersburg. Finally, let me tell you how this work came about. Ilya Repin painted this work when he was staying in France for a couple of years in his 30s. 
There, he was exposed to the innovative work of the Impressionists, and while he liked their use of color and light, he did not agree with the themes of their paintings. Rapin preferred works with a moral message. Unlike many of his other works, it is not immediately clear what the moral message in this painting is. It may be the loyalty to his wife, or Setko's celibacy when presented with many gorgeous women. When Rapin was in France, he was separated from his natural environment, and this motivated him to paint a theme from Russian folklore. He picked this wonderful story of Satko in the underwater kingdom, and really made this epic poem come to life. I hope you enjoyed this discussion. If you did, please leave a like below and subscribe to this channel for more videos on great paintings. Thank you for listening.